Hi folks, Mark here, views from Mark, and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this, the Aperture MC RGB WW LED light. Now this is any colour, any time, as you can see on the box. It is a small LED light that you use for filmmaking, videography. You can see all the features that it's got there on the back of the box. And what we'll do is we'll jump straight in and get to the unboxing. So I'll cut through the seal. And this is a light that's very small, very portable, has great output in terms of colour and brightness. Um, it gives you an option to pick any colour you can think of and it will replicate that. So as you open the box, as you can see here, you're greeted with the sight of the actual unit itself. And as I take it out of the box, you'll see that it is a very small light. It's about the size of a credit card and about the width of a finger. So it is very small, very compact, um, really well made. It feels very well made in the hand. It's got a screw mount on the bottom side of the light so you can attach it to your tripod or to other kind of mounting options. And it also comes with two magnets on the back. So it's magnetic and you know it opens up a world of possibilities in terms of mounting. On the side there you've got a control dial, an on-off switch and a USB-C input for charging. On the top there you've got a small LCD screen and that shows you information like your colour temperature, the intensity and as you cycle through all the different menu options it will give you all those visuals as well. Looking further in the box as we take out the top section there you've got underneath the instruction manual it's a small kind of fold out piece of paper um, and on the back there you've got obviously the service warranty uh, that you can fill in should you need to. Also in the box you have this Aperture branded very well made pouch which is used for storage and transportation of the light so it keeps it nice and safe and secure. It's as I say really nicely made, good fabric and material, it's got a belt loop on the back there so you can attach to your belt or to another bag and yeah it's just very sturdily made and will keep the light well protected. So you've got the first pocket on the back here that you can put the light in as it is, as you see at the moment, it slides in and it fits nicely in there, so that's good. As we take that out, you'll see there is a second larger pouch on the front. And as I open that up, you'll see within that there is a silicon diffuser. Now this is a silicon mount which will go onto the light and diffuse the light, but we'll come to that in a moment. Also inside you have this USB-C charging cable. And this is actually a braided cable, which I prefer personally because it means it's a bit more hard wearing. They last, they generally last a bit longer than a normal kind of rubber coated wire. So it's quite nice to have that included within the kit to have this braided USB cable for charging. Also in the pack you get two Velcro 3M pads. Again, that opens up a world of possibilities in terms of mounting for the light should you need to whilst you're out on location. And then, as I say, you have this silicon diffuser unit. It's very soft and it fits quite easily to the light itself, as you'll see. It just literally pops in. It's got a, a ridge in there, so it'll stay in the, in the right location, nice and secure. And that just gives you a nice diffused look to the light itself. And then as you can see, that's literally everything that comes within the box itself. So it's fairly minimal, but you get everything that you need to get kick-started and, and get, get the light charged up and uh, in use as soon as you can. Charge time takes about two and a half hours when it's uh, plugged into the USB-C. It also has wireless charging capability, which is very handy. So turning the light on there, you can see it gives out even at 50% intensity, as you can see there on the LCD screen, it gives out quite a good level of brightness. You can then cycle through the colour temperature, and you'd generally use that to change the warmth of the light that you're getting from the unit itself. And then by clicking the rotating wheel in once very quickly, it then moves you over to the intensity, and you can turn that down. It goes down in 1% increments, all the way from 0% right up to 100% brightness, and it gives out as I say, and as you can see, a really nice powerful light source. Even without the silicon diffuser, it gives you a really nice light tone and whilst it does have a level of diffusion, you could argue without the diffuser attached, you would still ideally have that silicon diffuser attached so you don't 
see all the LEDs individually. It kind of gives you a more even light that is emitted from the unit itself. So aperture say of this unit, the MC is aperture's first light to include hue, saturation and intensity colour control. With 360 degrees of hue and 100 levels of saturation adjustment, you have the power to conveniently reproduce any colour all in the palm of your hand. Now as I click through the menu features here, you'll see you have FX, so within that you have different lighting effects, so there's a paparazzi effect that you can see there. You have fireworks, so it will change through a cycle of colours, replicating like a fireworks scene so your subject would be bathed in this light. You then have like a faulty bulb setting, so that will flicker on and off. And you can um, also change the intensity of these. You then have a TV setting, so this will replicate if your light is shining on your subject, the, the glow of a TV. There's also a lightning setting. Um, all these effects are fully customizable within an app that you can use in conjunction with this light. You then have a party, which is just kind of a chasing color light effect which is which is all right it's nice i'm sure there'll be some use cases for it but uh, i'm not sure how much i would use that myself there's then a pulsing effect so you could change the color to a red or a yellow to kind of simulate a warning you then have cop car you can again customize all these within the app and have it just blue lights or red lights or switching between there and there is a fire effect to end with so that is the different effects you then have the hue, saturation, intensity setting. Now with this you can cycle through manually on the unit itself all the colours within the colour spectrum. To get the most from this light though it's definitely worth combining it with the app that is available for iOS and Android devices. It just opens up a world of unlimited possibilities and I can't wait to start using this in some of my own videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video, it's a bit different to my usual, but if you have, do please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed, and also hit the notification bell button so you get a notice whenever I post something new. Thanks very much for watching, take care.